episode of building this city. This is something right here. We are on episode number 16, I believe. Okay, let everything settle in there. Alright. Uh, I've got a bit of a project. Okay. Uh, so, in, in the time between the last recording and now, notice I have opened up this corridor a little bit, and I've also put down rail. Um, I've done something else. You see another portal showing up in the distance there. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you where that leads, but I don't like its placement right now, so we're going to move it. Efficiency unbreaking. Look at that. That is just, that's amazing. Put this back in place. So you really got to be careful with these things. So, even with this um, taking out obsidian, it does require some patience. some nether quartz. Nope. None. Nope. Not the one I wanted. There we go. And we'll fill this back in. Let's light this thing up, and then I'll show you where it goes. Hopefully it hasn't gotten ruined. Alright. Oh, and... Nope. Ah, OCD. Okay, fine. Uh, let's get out. Oh, 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 oh. You see this? I can hear the music more. Maybe you can't. Let's turn the sounds down a little bit. This is the Northern Village. There's the Interbiome Railway. Yeah. I, um, I've got some plans for villagers. You know, I meant to bring something. Um, I forgot that, but that's fine. Um, anyway, I need an easier way to move villagers about. So, there we have it. So, uh, let me, uh, take care of this, and then we will head back to home base, and I will show you around there. But let me take a quick break, and I will be right back. Alright, we are back. Just came back out of the nether. So, heading back home. Let's see if you can see it. Can't, nope. No, no, can't see it from here. So let's just go on up, and I will show you from the inside out. This you're familiar with, but, ooh, what's this? What? 
This is a little different from last time, right? Yep, so here is the sub basement. And here is the basement. Let's get rid of this. Also, don't need that. Uh, upcoming project. Let's see, are we going to need. No, I think we're all set for resources there. Uh, chests. I think. I think we're ready. Um, and you've seen a. You see, I've done some collecting. Oh. Uh, there's a slime chunk right in the main compound, and Aston has set up a slime farm. So we are not going to be hurting for slimes anytime soon. Uh, let's see. I think I'm all set. Let's go up and take a tour around. Here is the main area. And here's sleeping quarters. Let me take a quick sleep. So I built the house. And I did not bring the YouTube channel along for it. Um, mostly I just wanted to get it done. And I did not want to wait. And I already had a couple of days worth of content ready to go so I just built this and I want to show you I'm gonna do other stuff in this episode this house design is based on a large cabin designed by a minecraft forum user by the name of sedentary gecko uh, and I will post a link to his forum post with this build on it. Um, I, I did update a little bit. I made the top floor a little bit larger and then I went down two levels mostly because that is just what I needed for this build. Um, but it is it it's pretty much the same thing, just a couple extra rooms. So if you like that, um, the, the uh, it's not a tutorial, it's more like he, he tries to use instructions like Legos um, and not telling you where to put piece by piece but just figure out from pictures so there we go um, put that waterfall in, there's another waterfall on the other side just to add a little interest a little bit of relaxing stream sounds as well you can't see it from here, but let's go to what I actually want to get done today. Well, I'll tell you, and I'll, sh I'll show you something pretty cool about it. So, you remember I told you that I was going to work on a mine, or a quarry, and I had it all, uh, I had all the uh, boundaries laid out, right? Well, I, I've been doing a lot of that grindy work, and uh, I told you I'm, I really don't want to bring you along necessarily for that. Uh, so, here we go. Look at that. We're down to level 32 right there. Uh, there's an abandoned mine shaft. You can see. Uh, that outline right there um, that's the start of it and it goes in and all around and I've not fully explored it I've just uh, cut it cut it off for the time being um, let me let me go get my resources uh, and, and in this quarry let me just show you I, I took this idea out of something generic B did on the minecraft server and while I've been going down I've been building this item elevator. It's a dropper, okay, and it, it's powered at the moment by a downward-facing um, signal, okay. All of these, so you go do 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 do. This takes a signal from up top and sends it 
all the way down okay and on the other side you see that I am working on I'm leaving in place a an upward facing one because eventually I'm going to turn this into an upward facing uh, item elevator because I want to put I'm going to repurpose this thing once I'm done there is going to be a, a branch branch mine um, from level 10 out um, in all directions okay so it'd be kind of like a pinwheel and then I'm gonna put a gold farm in here and uh, yeah. anyway so, so the items will have to come up and so they'll go up this way um, for the time being we need to do a little something to actually make the, the item elevator go so let me collect those resources lever we're not gonna need these uh, I need workhorse. Got plenty of that. And then we'll leave the droppers. Need a repeater. Redstone torches. Some of that. We got wood. A comparator. Shovel, iron. No, no, no. Okay, I think. Just about ready. All right. So let's head back up, um, and let me let me show you. So most so as as I've been going down each layer, I I just empty my pockets out into whatever dropper is available, and if I have to do multiple, then that's fine. Um, but I need a way to get the stuff into here from down here. Okay, and so I'm going to need to power this piece of redstone right here and I want to do it in a somewhat automated fashion but with a safety switch and so um, the safety switch is going to go here it's currently um, off okay so until that thing uh, actually we're going to do that so the switch is going to be on okay and that's unfortunate, it's just how switches work. But uh, that's what we got. And, and I want it to be based on what is in this hopper. Okay, so as the droppers go, they're going to be shooting items up and up and up. And eventually this dropper is going to pick them up. Okay. And then they will fall immediately into this chest. Okay, when this chest backs up, the items will start backing up into here. So I want this thing to output a signal only until it is, uh, only as long as it is empty, okay? And the way to do that is with a comparator. As a hopper is a container object, and if you put a comparator up against a container object, that can be hoppers, droppers, dispensers, any of the chests, um, let's see the other one, furnace, and a brewing stand, there might be some others, I'm not sure at the moment, but um, it will output a signal as long as something is in it, so let me just show you real quick, watch, watch it, no, it it'll output a signal when something is in it. Um, I don't have enough stuff here. Let's try this. Fill this up. And boom. Okay. Now, put that course that's going to go in this won't go in right okay so I've got a signal coming out because there is an item in the hopper okay and notice this thing now turns on it's a mix because um, that uh, that switch is also on okay now that switch is off notice this thing is still on because 
uh, this comparator is powering this block and transmitting it one, which is to right there. Okay. And if it looks like the uh, the signal is a little bit brighter, that's because this thing is only outputting in proportion to what's in it. Okay, and that's no, that's, that's not quite right. The comparator is only going to send one, um, or a signal one block, okay? That's as strong as that signal is. All right, so currently this thing is full, um, so our timer is not going to be um, going, all right? So now this block is powered. Uh, and I'll show you just real simply. You see that that inverts the signal. Okay, if it was not powered, see you're learning along with me. Hopefully, okay. Now that that signal's on and off. Okay, what we are going to do is power a clock, a very simple clock, off of this. Okay, uh, but not that side. I want it off of this side. Um, I could. I tried making this a little bit more um, compact, uh, but it is ultimately temporary. You see, I've placed it on dirt. So uh, all this is going to go away eventually, and then this column right here under the comparator. I mean, all this stuff I'm going to take out and um, drive the item elevator from this side. And even this whole column is going to go out once the quarry is done. Okay. Oh, hey, we're at night time. Uh, let me go sleep real quick. I need to reset my spawn area. Just in case I die, I want to be right here like from falling and be able to just go back down and get my stuff. I have not yet fallen, but uh, you know there's the first time for everything. It's like on the iron farm, I did not fall at all during the major construction and then I was showing it off to one of the guys on the server and I fell off. Yep. Okay. Now, what we've got here is a simple uh, repeater timer. I tried doing something fancy with a hopper timer, but it was just much and it required another comparator uh, which I can do I've got a little bit of quartz but uh, I'd like some more so what's gonna happen is normally say we got this and we're gonna slow it down right so what happens is initially that uh, that torch was on and so that carries a signal here into the repeater two tick delay and it goes around here, goes into here, two tick delay, carries it back in here, turns this off, but there's still a bit of a signal left, and that comes back, and then, well, actually, there is no signal. It turns this whole thing off, and that means that this block no longer gets powered, so this thing comes back on, and rinse and repeat, okay? Uh, now, it's just very simple. I want to be able to run that based on that signal and only if both of these are uh, well actually that, that switch is going to be in the technically on position All right, now, so we got all that, uh, and I've still got items in my, let's just watch it for a little bit. Okay, you notice the lag spike there? Yeah, so things are working. Look at that, isn't that cool? 
All right, so we'll let that run. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have that switch on there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, we'll let that run while I'm not on camera. Okay. How'd it do? And that is with a pretty short timing. Let's let's change this. We'll change it to Let's see what that does. Okay, I'm currently at 30 frames a second. And okay, that's a little bit a little bit better. Um we'll let that go for a bit. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is hopefully not fall to my death. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Um, I don't... Oh, well, you know what? I do need this stuff. Um, put this in. Still need that. Stone going in. The silk touch. Still need that. No oh, silk touch is there. Or course. Oh, I need my shovel. So um, I already ran through the Fortune 2 and efficiency shovel. I did not bother repairing it because um, it would have cost 30 levels to. Um, Pair it with a regular shovel. So it's like who cares? Not for fortune. If it was efficiency and breaking, maybe, maybe I'd invest that. But um, it's 30 levels, so I just threw 30 levels on a new shovel. Uh, it, you know, still pretty pointless. I really want unbreaking, um, but that'll do. Uh, I need droppers. I need anything. Not not any of that. Where are we at? Um, almost midday. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna check the time here. And I'm going to attempt a time lapse video. I'm going to take down a few levels here and then um, and show this progress, okay? So uh, I will be right back while I get that situated and um, we'll see if it works. All right. Back in a bit.
right, folks, it looks as if the time lapse will work. Um, and we are almost at the end of an episode, so um, I'm going to call it quits here. And uh, so, one of the things that I found, um, I came, I, I was doing some AFK work, and I found that some of the guys on the server had a little bit of fun here. And, uh, well, there we go. They threw a bunch of chickens down into the hole. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, that is it for now. Um, I will be back next time. Hopefully, I will have this finished. Let me know if you like the time lapse. Um, I can do more if you like that. Um, let me know if you want to see more redstone stuff. There is plenty more in the works. Um, until next time, take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.